Hi, I'm Chef Jorge Guzman and today we're going to be making tamales and one of my favorite food memories as a kid is going back home to Mexico and walking into my grandmother's back patio, smelling the tamales kind of permeate the entire yard. It was a great way to be welcomed home. So today what we're going to do is start off with some corn fresh from the cob. It's easy to just shuck it right off. We're going to put that into a, a pot. We're going to add some whole milk to that as well. And while that's simmering, we're gonna take cream cheese, lard, and baking soda, and we're basically gonna whip them. Now, if my grandma saw me making tamales this way, she'd probably roll over in her grave because it would be very hard pressed to find a tamale with cream cheese in Mexico. So not super traditional, but still amazing flavor. So next, we're basically gonna take your corn mixture, and then we're just gonna add that to our masa mix and then just kind of fold this so that it's all incorporated. Our next step is we're gonna marry the two together, but very slowly. We're gonna take a little bit of our corn mixture and just start whipping it together with the cream cheese. Once this mixing process is done, you wanna let it rest for about half an hour to an hour. You can even let it rest overnight and it stiffens up a little bit. We've got our Supremo Chihuahua cheese, which is really, really tasty stuff. It's super rich, buttery. We're gonna take about half a cup of mixture and we're gonna make a little divot. So with the cheese, we're just gonna stuff it in here. And then this is where the fun happens. We're gonna basically roll our tamale. Tamales should make you feel comfort. They can be sweet, they can be savory, they're easy to eat. It's a communal thing. This is just like a cute little package that you can impress all your friends with if you do it. And you can have a plate full of these and they look really, really great. And I just pop them into a steamer, 25 to 35 minutes. So once those are steamed, they look really awesome. And then the best part of this is eating it, open it up like this. I mean, look how gorgeous that looks. That cheese, I mean, look at that. It's just melty, it's delicious. Yeah, not really good. And that cheese is perfect. Mm. For more recipes, go to vnvsupremo.com.